Let's see how to create a new project in Solarius Pivo. On the starting page, we can choose between single phase system in low voltage, three phase system in low voltage, or you can choose a medium voltage. So click on the single phase system in low voltage. First page shows on the left side a three folders and node structure for workflows menu. It helps uh, recommending every step we need to do during the whole project. So node structure helps defining in which step we are and which step will be the next one. It's useful to print economical and technical reports. So let's start from the general data folder. The page on the right change by clicking on the left three menu folders and nodes. The window on the right is a pre-made sheet to fill out with various information. First node is about client. Here we have to specify the kind of client. So if it's an individual client or is a company. Then we put the client's name and all others general information. Quite similar is the um, designer information. You go on the node and here you put whole data. For example, it could be has or other operators. By clicking save icon on the right, we can save data configuration as default. It means that our data will be stored by the software. So you don't need to fill again this page. Other way, we can also use drag and drop function. It's a very potential common, and we can use it to fill out the sheet by copying data from a previous project done. We have to open the previous file first. So file, go to open and choose the file we have to obtain data from. So open example files, the second one. In the second sample, we find all designers information. Going on window menu, we arrange two files vertically. Both files have to be set with the same folder and sheet open in order to use the function drag and drop. Then we drag the information node we need to copy from the first project and we drop it into the similar node of the destination project. This works also with the technician data uh, it works for most of all nodes of three folders menu, so we can copy lots of information. But now let's go in the system information. What about system folder? We can fill out the sheet by writing in the, the opposite boxes. But if information is similar to the previous project, we can copy by using the traditional shortcut CTRL plus C and CTRL plus V. Then we need to fill all the required information. If we focus on the lower part of the screen, we can see three different sheets. General, produced energy and specification. Specification sheet contains information about technical solutions adopted by designer. So position of modules, grounding system, accumulation system and others. All this information project can be filled out by writing the data. Otherwise, we can use drag and drop function seen before from other file. So now we can close the sample file we can go to the system node and see our project. So now what we have to do, don't forget to use a representative image of the adopt system by clicking on the folder on the lower right side of the specification sheet. We can choose from existing image, rendering image, but we can add all image we want to set. This picture will be shown on the final technical report. 
So now we can confirm. Let's work now on location node. What is location? Location is the place in which we are working, where the project is. We can access to a program archive structured by country. You can choose USA, UK, Portugal, Brazil. We just have to interrogate the database and we will find all the country city. For example, we choose United Kingdom, London. On the right side, software uploads automatically geographical and irradiance data of the location. Select London. We see latitude, irradiance data, and data source from Metronorm. We can obtain this data by geographic form or in tabular form, and we can export and save for other use. For example, we can use for a multimedia representation. Let's see another interesting common. This is useful to work directly with Google Maps. Other way we can locate the project by Google Maps database application. So select the specific point in which we are designing the plans. We can move on the map, add the new location by latitude. We can do all consideration we want to do. By clicking the left red icon on the top of the sheet, we assign the name of the city we are searching for and then click on select coordinates from maps. Software switch on a Google Maps display and function. We choose the right place by using maps and then confirm the choice. When we are done, on Solaris PV we find back latitude and longitude coordinates, but as you see, we miss irradiance properties. Why? because we need to interrogate the database. Let's check the right column buttons. By clicking on the first icon set on the right column, we can get the information by European PVG HiHES database. This one works for European, Africa and Asia countries. Solarius interrogate PVG HiHES and find all data we need, irradiance and whole stuff. Other chance consist of get information by Metronorm database. This contains information about all words, so we can choose from every part of the world. Software calculate all irradiance data. We obviously obtain different results. Why? Because they are different databases, but both databases are usable for design. This is properly a designer's choice. So designer can add a new location. He can add his own irradiance parameters hour by hour. To do this, the icon shows irradiance data, monthly distribution and yearly distribution graphs. We see table, monthly charts, yearly charts. This graph helps us understanding if location is sunny enough and which is the solar distribution during the day. For example, I immediately see the radiance in January. For example, from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. So I know the best time to design and produce the maximum energy by the photovoltaic plants. Third icon allows us to export datasets and graphs in order to use them anyways, presentation or what I want. So now I can confirm. Let's go back to the location node. I can choose irradiation on a horizontal plane and set the unit of measurement. Here we find geographical reference latitude, longitude, altitude. These are data we are going to use in the project to design the photovoltaic plant.